In his Toby video series, the first is quite standard, showing Toby being a hypocrite and vaguely calling someone a map for a drawing they did when she did similar and so on, but in the second, he brings attention to the critics of Toby's critics, those being Nani and Harsh Opinions, who made videos talking about Kai Weiss and Omnia, two of Toby's critics. The videos were not good, stretched various theories and points, and in the end, they've both been deleted, but in their videos, they were still critical of Toby at the start and clearly showed they didn't exactly like her to begin with. Luke, however, decided Harsh and Nani were massive Toby supporters, being friends of hers that justify her terrible actions. Dum 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 dum. Two statements that are completely untrue. He also cites Thuman's video, which definitely, while not bad, also stated that she thought the people against Kai and Omnia were friends of Toby, showing me where he got that unsubstantiated claim from. Further on, in his video talking about the Just a Robot commentary with Manga Common and Fuchsia Butter, he does leave context out of a few points. Dum 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 dum. For example, at 8:45 to 9:42 in his video, he shows clips of Jar's video, stating that they try and argue Toby isn't a map, but Kai and Omnia said Toby was only a map by her logic. While it is true Kai and Omnia did say this, so did Manga Kamen in Jar's video. Oh, Toby's point! You can see it cut at some point when Luke is showing that clip, and with how the clip is specifically missing when Luke makes the point, it feels cut out intentionally. Dum 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 dum! Most of my videos don't need some deep dive. Ooh, lad, I gotta say, it's always a red flag when we got somebody here trying to play moral police while taking things out of context to spin their narrative and to fit the said narrative to work the story, to work the audience. Again, at worst, Luke is a malicious manipulator spinner, or whatever. At best, Luke is just a glue-eating crayon stuffing with the idiot. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about Jar. Now, Jar had an interesting response because Luke basically made a video where he called him a wastist and tried to cancel him because... Again, Luke, in his holy judgment, he is the arbiter of deciding what is good and what is wrong in the world. Because I don't know what qualifies a man. I guess his moral compass is just really up there. Like, he's the, the sharpest tool in the shed, right? <laughs> he, he knows what's good and wrong, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's just an opinion, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to take you seriously. Wait, what? Oh, God. This guy is so fucking spineless. I swear. Like, I'd take any random edgy fucking person saying the n-word right over luke that fucking weasel any day biggest thing as big as gotcha on this just a robot fella i don't watch just a robot first of all i'm not really heavy into the anti-sjw crowd i even made a video shitting on the anti-sjw crowd at one point so rest assured there's no fucking bias i know people that are anti-sjws that can be as whiny as the sjws themselves so i'm not really into that Though, I am of the mindset that just because you've said the n-word in the past or whatever, that doesn't make you a racist 100% or whatever. If anything, that just, it's just you saying a fucking edgy word because I don't know, nervous tick, anything. There are many reasons why one can use a word of taboo when it's socially unacceptable. Right? There are many reasons. You could delve into it. Is it necessary? Not really. Are you going to get far in life by saying it? No, not at all. Do you get it out of your systems out of an early age? Most likely. The spineless fucking weasel, right, that Luke is, is trying to gain credibility back by pushing this whole holier-than-thou attitude that he thinks people... And in his divine judgment, right, Luke is the arbiter of deciding what... A, a racist is and what is good and wrong. Luke, go fuck yourself, you pretentious little prick. I saw just the robot's response. It seemed more authentic than the bullshit Luke was fucking putting out. And yes, I unfortunately watched the entire Prison Mate Luke video on Just a Robot. A lot of things conjecture again, and again, I'm going to promote the Just Stop video where he buried and showed every instance that Luke fabricates, cuts, or attempts to manipulate a narrative. And go see the video. Just, just Stop, definitely worth the watch, 25 minutes. His video on Luke absolutely annihilates him, and Luke's response to it was so bad that it was the equivalent of I'm just, it's just opinions, bro. I, I take no accountability for my actions. That's literally Luke's response. Literally his response. That's how Just Stop is quote unquote fundamentally flawed in, in Luke's little tiny pea brain. Great. 
So is this basically man that I want to take seriously when it comes to whether or not he decides if Just Stop is Oasis? No, not really. I think he's full. I think Luke personally is full of shit. I don't think Just Stop is actually a fucking Oasis. I don't think that he is. Right? I think you need a lot more concrete shit if you want to place that on him. And while this won't affect him to the extent of a false pedophile accusation, it's still kind of a stain and it's kind of annoying if he really isn't, right? Because this whole SJW culture, right, it's just based on the fundamentals of you, you're turning a word, right, into something that used to hold a very strong meaning because the sjw's and people like luke have coined the fucking term to fit whatever narrative they want it's become downplayed and now if somebody says it you just kind of turn a blind eye and be like oh whatever I mean, you could push for the cancel culture thing but i think that's personally kind of shitty i don't <laughs> i'm not against cancel culture if it's to the right people i don't think just stop Using words that, that will ultimately fuck him over in the end is really something to cancel him over. So I don't need to go out of my way to try to say, oh, somebody is racist or whatever, and that's why I will use it as an attack. Like, there's a reason why I've never used the whole, oh, Turkey Tom uses the N-word thing on, uh, on Tom, right, to attack his character. Because to me, that's like, like the least uh, terrible thing <laughs> that you can do. Right. It, essentially, if you think that the worst possible thing in the world is somebody using the N-word when a large majority of the world has used it. See, all these politically correct actors in Hollywood, right? They go around acting like they've never said the word and try to act super fucking progressive. And then you catch them in a scandal where, oh my God, go to tweets back from, uh, I don't know, 2004. They've said it. Oh my God. It's almost like none of us are fucking perfect and we've all done some fuck shit in the past, right? Like saying a fucking word. Whether it be because it was taboo, we wanted to be rebellious, or whether we were just experimenting and being idiots, not everybody has the same fucking moral compass, and we can't expect to all be the same because then we're living in a fucking dictatorship. And that's no fun, we need that free will. See, my my idea essentially is that if somebody uses the dreaded n-word, I'd rather have that person around, walking around, maybe having a platform, rather than having somebody that goes around throwing false pedophile accusations or adding fuel to the fire, so to speak, like Luke was. You called Ivory a cloud chaser, right? You, ca you called Ivory a cloud chaser, didn't you, mate? And then you wanted to flip-flop and then suddenly Ivory was a victim again, right? Yeah, no, Luke, I think you're more detrimental to the fucking community than just a robot is. I'm gonna be real. Right, I'm gonna be really honest, because at least just a robot can get fucked over on his own right. He's destroying himself if he wants to use the hard R at any point in time. And by the way, Luke, it's funny that he's not actually using the hard R, at least not in the way that an actual Oasis would use it. Luke, you took that, you took that hard R from just the robot out of context. Oh my god, what a fucking shock. What a shock, it's almost like Luke has a habit of doing this shit whenever the fuck he wants to fit a narrative. Again, you're the holy arbiter of what is right and wrong though, right bud? Ugh, give me a fucking break. I hate pretentious pieces of shit like Luke. The ones that act like they have no skeletons in their closets and have done no wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. Again, I personally think Luke is just using this as a way to get credibility back after he royally fucked up the pyro thing. You know, by calling a victim a cloud chaser and then going back and saying oh no uh, i didn't mean it when i called you a cloud chaser you're a victim again you know that fucking spineless piece of shit that he is yeah sorry luke i mean i'll get you a box of crayons for your birthday you can uh, go ahead and have fun with them i hope i don't have to make another video on you but i gotta be honest luke you're such a fucking gold mine of contradictions hypocrisies and the thing that i hate the most the people trying to take the moral high ground for no fucking reason whatsoever other than trying to look good for their audience. The idea of persona. And persona is the you that you present when you want people to accept and like you.